Hey guys, how you doing? We're outside now where I built that uh, underground heating system and uh, I've modified it. I modified it about a month ago. There's the firebox over there and uh, there's the channel. Well, you can't see it, of course. Going underground up to the chimney right there. Um, did throw a ridge pole up for a shelter. Not too happy with it, but we'll see. Today we're going to uh, fire this up. Uh, ground is frozen. There's a little small layer of snow on everything. Um, you know, see, we definitely got a little bit of snow. I mean, it's not a lot. An inch at the most, covering, dusting. But it's cold out. It's, uh, I think, 20 degrees, 22 degrees this morning. Uh, I apologize for the background noise. We've got a train off in the distance. Can you see it? So, what we're going to do is we're going to fire this up, and I want to see if it thaws this ground out and dries the ground out. You know, nobody wants to sleep on a wet ground. Granted, uh, normally we'd have a shelter over this, but we don't. Just an experiment, you know, I'm just playing with this idea. So, let's get started. Alright, let's take a look. Opening this up for the first time. Doesn't look too bad down in there. I got the phone on a tripod. I'm kind of hesitant to move it, to be honest with you. Air inlet is definitely plugged with leaves. Let's get those out of there. you guys get a little peek down in there before I get the fire going. This is going to be hard to do. I don't want to move the tripod. Well, you'll have to bear with me. Take my word for it. It looks intact. Now we're just going to, we're going to cheat and use a little newspaper. I brought some dry wood from the house. This isn't an experiment on lighting a fire. It's an experiment on getting the ground warm. Fingers aren't working. It's cold out here. It's cold. All right. Split up a little bit of kindling here. See, it's nothing special. It was uh, all from pallets. Like I've told you in other videos, I collect a lot of pallets and uh, use them for my kindling and woodworking projects. that you could see. You know what, I'm going to take the phone off of the tripod and uh, hold you right over it while I light it. Hang on, bear with me. Oh, you know what, i got to I got to turn the screen around. Hang on. Alright. You see down inside the fire chamber. And there's the air inlet. And there's the newspaper. Get a bit lighter. Kind of hard to reach down in there, but we're getting there. <clears throat> Excuse me. My head is still all plugged up. Ah, I feel heat already. That should work its way inside the chamber. I didn't bring a lot of wood out here. I'm hoping it's enough to get started, though. Ah, oh, she's drafting here already. Once this fire gets a little warm, there's the chamber that goes underground. Once this fire warms up, I'll put the lid on it. And it, uh, in theory, will force that heat in the ground. Give that a minute. 
Right, I'm going to turn you guys off for a minute. Once this fire gets going, I'll turn you back on. See ya. Alright, fire has only been going a couple of minutes. But you can see it's already drafting through the ground. There's very little heat and smoke coming up here towards me. It's all going into the ground. You can see my chimney's uh, already warming up. Once this fire gets good and hot, there should be no smoke coming through the uh, chimney there. Not bad. It's only been uh, five minutes, if that. It's already drafting through the ground. At this rate, I might not even need to put the cover on it. We'll give it a few more minutes, see what happens. Actually, the cover right there is wet. It's frozen. Uh, heat from the fire might crack it. It's just an old concrete patio paver, you know what I mean? It, uh, leftover. Actually, it was, I don't even know where it came from. It's not mine. It was on the property, but well, you know I know where it's from. We have a sidewalk that was built out of those. Previous owner must have done it. Anyway, that fire's starting to take hold now. And if you look, it's, it looks like it's mostly steam. It disappears very quickly. So I think that's mostly steam coming out of the ground there. This ground's going to be soaked. Like I said, this has been exposed for a month. It's been rained on and snowed on, and the ground is now frozen. Especially with this channel going through the ground, it allows cold air to get underneath there and uh, freeze the ground quicker. So I'll be back in a few minutes to update you. Alright, fire's going fairly good. I mean, it's not roaring yet, but uh, the exhaust coming out of here, it's hot. I mean, it's certainly not burning my hand, but it's... Can you see the steam sticking to my hand even? It, it's all steam. It's not smoke. And it uh, disappears pretty quickly. So we're, we're drawing all the moisture out of the ground right now. Heating the ground up, drawing the moisture out. Take a little whoop, slip on the ice here. Let's take a little peek in our firebox. Yeah. Medium fire. I mean it's not it's not super hot yet. And uh, like I said, that's it's pretty much all steam coming out of there. So we'll see what happens in an hour or so. See if this ground starts to thaw out. That's my hope. If I can produce enough heat to thaw this ground and dry it, not just thaw it, I mean, nobody wants to sleep in mud. We gotta dry it, thaw it, dry it, and see what happens. Alright, we've been burning for approximately half an hour. Fire's pretty established. Uh, I've been throwing some sticks and twigs and small stuff in there. And if you look, the ground is already starting to thaw. Snow is receding and it's starting to steam in a couple locations. Another spot right here. I don't know if you guys can see the steam, but it's it's starting to thaw now. See that rock that's part of the lid? It's starting to steam. Very little smoke coming out of the chimney, if any. It's more steam than anything. Starting to thaw around the base of the chimney. Keep in mind, there's uh, in some areas there's probably six inches of uh, topsoil on this, and a coating of leaves. So I think we're doing all right. All the snow and ice is melted off the uh, lid now. I kind of got it out under sideways just to let some more air in. I don't think it was getting quite enough air. So we'll see. We'll give it an hour or two and see what happens. I'll keep you posted. Alright, fire's been going for about 50 minutes. You can see around the firebox the snow's gone. Big patch there that's gone. Big patch there that's gone. It's all starting to thin out a little bit, melt away. A little bit of steam coming out of the chimney, that's it. I apologize for all the road noise behind me. I do live on a main road. Uh, unfortunately, this is right in the shadow of that big, uh, big ash tree there. It's a big tree, actually. It's solid two foot in diameter, maybe two and a half foot. It's an old tree. Anyway, it's working. It's melting all the snow away. 
But I'm going to leave the fire alone. I'm going to go in the house for an hour or two. I'm not going to put any more wood on it. Probably should. <laughs> Probably should keep feeding it for about two hours, but I've got some other stuff I need to do this morning. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to come back out in an hour or two, like I said, and I want to see if all the snow is gone. If, uh, I, don't, I doubt the ground will be dry. We'll see. See what happens. Alright, be back. Alright guys, well I went in the house for what planned on being about half an hour, get a cup of coffee, come back out, and uh, my wife got a hold of me and put me to work. So anyway, this says three hours ago. Fire's long since gone out. I'll get it going again. But as you can see, the snow is totally gone from the whole thing. Can you see that, the way the sun's shining on it? Let me try a different angle. There's leaves on it, but the, the snow is gone, and, the, and it's warm. It's not hot, but it's definitely, definitely warm to the touch. So, I'm going to get this fire going again, and uh, see if I can get this dirt to dry out. I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, I've got the fire going again. I've got the lid on it right now. When the wind dies down, you can see the steam coming up off the dirt. See that? Steaming pretty good. Um, I suspect it'll dry out fast, especially with the sun shining on it. There's no rain or snow today. Eh, wind's picking up again though. And the wind will help dry it out, but it makes it a little harder to see that steam coming off of it. See that? I can see it in the screen, I assume you guys can. Fire's going. Lid is a little warm. Let me slide that back so you can see. Actually, I had a hard time lighting it again. I assumed there'd be some coals in there, but <laughs> there wasn't really. They were pretty much burned out already. And I got it going. I'm just feeding it sticks and twigs. Small stuff. Inch in diameter and less. I don't have a saw or anything out here, so I'm just breaking off branches off of dead trees. So I'm going to feed this thing for well, as long as I can until my wife calls me back up to the house again. See how much smoke we got? Let me go show you. Zero smoke. You see any smoke coming out of there? I don't see it. It's probably pretty warm to the touch. Yeah, it's, it's burning hotter than it was this morning. Yeah, it's hot. You could warm food up on that. I don't know if you could cook food on it. I don't know if it's quite that hot. I don't think it would boil water. Most of the heat gets absorbed into the ground. Which is a good thing. That's what we want. That's what I'm going for. Alright, I'll be back. Well, ground is steaming nicely now. It's already starting to dry out. You probably can't tell. I can't see it through the screen, but I can see the different shades of the dirt. It's starting to get pretty dry now wind is picking up though. Makes it harder to see the steam, make it dry quicker, but well, I've only been burning this again for a half an hour I suppose. Dirt's really picked up in temperature again. Still no uh, no smoke out of the chimney. This would be great for a stealth location, you know. At least when you get the fire going. When you first start it of course it smokes a little bit, but I'll be back. She's starting to steam good now. Now can you see it? She's drying out fast. I give this an hour and it'll be bone dry again. And hot. I just hope you guys can see it in this little crappy camera screen, you know? Wind keeps taking it away. Certainly not smoke, that's for sure. <laughs> you see the heat coming out of the top of the flue? 
The chimney. I'm trying to hold this camera steady. Yeah, I've got about 10 feet between the chimney and the, the firebox itself. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think that's enough to squeeze a small shelter into. I thought about putting my army shelter half in here. It doesn't have a floor in it. It would be perfect for this, but I don't want to leave it set up all winter either. I kind of want something over it to keep the snow off of it the next time. If I can get a shelter built over it, I'll leave it up, make it kind of a permanent shelter, and uh, I'll spend a night or two out here this winter, see what it's like. Alright, see ya.